today we will have a look at another one moth battery and we haven't had this one in yet and uh, here we have our button and a two pin charging that's interesting and probably a two pin discharging and four pin communication let's just check if we have anything here yeah nothing really This one is also super light, so another carbon fiber tube. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cell groups with LG MG1. Is this a 400 watt hour battery? I remember seeing them in Bosch Power Pack. Why do they have individual stickers on all the cells? There we go. Oh, it's Darphon. Darphon. I believe they also make uh, Shimano Steps batteries. And uh, I don't know if it was Makita or Milwaukee batteries. A real BMS with MOSFETs. Temperature sensor. Did that one came loose? I think we can fix that. Oh, there's the EST. What a tricky fit. Should have a steady voltage here. But around 500 millivolts. Would probably be possible to do a cell replacement. I'm gonna desolder this and have a look and that one also came loose uh, I do want to see how they connect to the EST it just seemed to be laying here you can actually pull it out so this is more of a holder for the electronics now uh, let's see if we can re-add reattach this one now since it's a temperature probe an NTC polarity shouldn't really matter it's a measuring resistance. Uh, where did that one connect to? That's the negative. It should be right here, B1. Let's see if we can get this off. Yeah. A little bit of silicone. Wait, is this the negative? No. This is the negative while you're going to do BMS. Do did have an additional one. I'm pretty sure that was B1. Oh, you can see it's the same polarity. Just another connection point. Then why do we need this one at all? Darphon. Why do you need this extra wire if these two are connected? They are connected. You don't need that wire. Why would you have that? We'll see about the temperature sensor though. It feels like it's those pins. No, it's over here. Oh, that's why it broke off. Super tight. Uh, let's measure it and see if it's still okay. Um, and they're almost always around 10k. Around 9 to 11 is usually where they operate. I do have some microelectronic stuff now, but I think I can do it without. Yeah, let's measure it from the top ones. Yeah, 9 kilo ohms. Is this just EVA foam? Yeah, hard EVA foam block. And here you can see RX TX is white and green. TX is green. What other colors did we have? Blue and yellow. Oh, here we go. It might be... No, SH, SL. That's most likely high and low. Could it be communicating canvas as well? Either the temperature sensor or high and low canvas is my guess. We don't really get that many Darphon batteries. R should be a resistor, but then it's a huge resistor. Looks more like a fuse or a shunt. Let's measure the resistance and see. If it doesn't have resistance, then it's a fuse or a shunt. And it doesn't have resistance, so it's a fuse or a shunt, not a resistor. But since it's not all metallic, yeah, it's more likely a fuse covered in something. But no water damage uh, on the inside from what I can tell. Let's have a look here. These okay, these screws are connected to this plate. But they are not hollow through. So even if water gets into the screw holes... Uh, it won't go right into the BMS. So interesting, interesting. Yeah, but our phone, this is a bit embarrassing. You didn't really need to do that, did you? 
No, you didn't. Totally unnecessary.